So we get the cement mixing factory for the couple of months that Love Island's on. The illusion is really just sort of foiled here, isn't it? What kind of stuff wouldn't make the show? What would they cut out? Well, eating. Oh. If they eat, you never see them eating. How come? It's boring, isn't it? Yeah. What if something really funny happens whilst they're eating? But then you've got your, they've got the food there and stuff. It just doesn't, uh, it's not, doesn't work. Does it? So you'll never see them having meal times. You'll never see them gather around the dining table having their dinner. Do they have sex in there now? I f well, again, I only watched the show. I think it looked like they were having sex every day, and all the girls made a pact to have sex. All the original girls made a pact that they were all going to have sex that night. I think they all did. All at all, the same time. And they had a graduation ceremony in the morning. <laughs> why, am I, why am I not a medical, this? a medical student handed out, um, what's the brand they all wear? Replay caps. It's like instead of like, no, like when you get a graduation, you get the hat. So this woman, girl handed them all out caps and they all got their degrees and having... It takes a lot of balls to go on there, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I couldn't do it. I, I would be petrifying. Are the cameras everywhere? Everywhere. Even in the toilets? I don't think they're in the toilets. I don't think that's legal. I did a week in a Big Brother house. Did you? When? Years ago. It was just that guinea pig thing they do. Oh, yeah, we do guinea pig runs at do, Love Island. Yeah, yeah, you've got to practice like for the cameras and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what we did. But so with, with the with the Love Island guinea pigs, but, do, do they know that they're guinea pigs? Yes, but then also I don't do the guinea pigs bit. Oh, you don't? Because you no. don't need to. Because when I did the Big Brother thing, they didn't tell me that I was a guinea pig. What? Yeah, they I, I applied and then... They said you're in? They said I'm in. They put me in the Hilton Hotel of a chaperone for four days with no phone. And then they sent me into the house. But, obviously, I went in on a morning when no crowd's there. Of course, yeah. And there's a builder with his arse out hammering in the set. And I was like, this can't be right. But then I started to think, you, they fuck with you. Oh, because I'm thinking Love Island, where, like, obviously, I forgot Big Brother. You, they come out and there's a big introduction and, like, Davina McCall. Yeah. You're like, where's Davina? Yeah, so I knew it was bollocks. Right. But then I started to mess with my head thinking... Oh, well, they done that to do an experiment to see if you don't think you're on TV, how how are you? Because you yeah. they had like the actual voiceover guys and and, and ev everything. But would you? Could you not go to them? But is this on? Like, could you sit in this seat and go like? Is but is this on TV though? I think I did. I can't remember because I... surely if you went, is this on TV? They'd have to go. No. But yeah. you're, the, you're the only one that noticed, so shut up. But I think maybe I did, and when they said no, I was like, but I, we actually could be. Like, I didn't know if it was like, oh, I didn't yeah, know enough about it. To, if you say to a house with loads, loads of cameras, and are we on TV? And they go, oh, no, they said no, but you thought it was a double bluff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, anyway, back to Love Island. Do I, I've heard this rumour before that they have a day off. I genuinely don't, honestly don't know. I think, like, there's days where they'll just, not necessarily a day off, but obviously there might be days where, like, they're not like, like it's not, well, they're in a house with cameras. Not challenges and stuff. Yeah, just like, it's just chill. Because it's not on TV on Saturdays, is it? Yeah, it's on yeah. every day, but other than a But then also, it, do, it, isn't like the, it isn't like what happens on Thursdays on Friday. It's just like where we're up to in the story. So yeah, they might have like down days where they're not as busy or whatever. Oh, well, so sometimes it could be broadcast on the Saturday, but you're only up to like Thursday. Yeah. I, I, again, I honestly don't really know, but I can't. <laughs> I really, I'm trying so hard to give you something. <laughs> the Love Island secret here is that Ian Sterling doesn't have a fucking clue what's <laughs> going I wa on. I walk into the room all the time going, is this actually on telly? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to watch every single episode to make the jokes. Are you, like, fully invested in it? I Honestly, I was I couldn't care less about it up until, like, day one of episode what, series one. And then, like, the minute I watched the first couple and up, I was like, this is fascinating. Do you have favourites now? I've got, like, all-time favourites, yeah. And I've got, do you yeah. have favourites in this series? Um, it's a really good question. I wouldn't tell you if I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. I wouldn't tell you if I did. But I honestly don't. This year is one of the few years where I, I think I, don't, I really don't. Right. Which, again, and the reason I said I wouldn't tell you if I did is because I don't want to make it sound like I'm bullshitting you. I yeah. think this year, genuinely, every like there's just so much stuff happening. And there's also not like, there's still not like a, just a steady like couple that are just doing their thing like everyone's got a bit about them it's interesting from what i could gather from literally the people that i follow on twitter right go for it the first half of this series yeah. they were saying was a bit boring right and then something happened in the middle right and now they're like it's one of the best things ever well do you know what happens it's like everything the first week or two of love island people always sort of go it's rubbish this year like it happens every year does it and it's really 
because you don't know the character, so you don't care about that. Can't be invested, yeah. What the first episode of any sitcom is terrible because all you're doing is going, Oh, this person's this, they do this job, they do this. Yeah. You don't care. But yeah. also they can't surely they can't cause drama early on because if someone steals a man or something, they just go, Well, I didn't know him. I've yeah, just met him. Well, that's what I'm saying. And it's also then people romantic I remember because people always be like, Oh, there's no Mora Higgins this year. She's obviously a fantastic like brilliant. I'm like, yeah, there wasn't a Mora Higgins in that series until five weeks in when she arrived. Uh, is she like one of the goats? She was amazing. She was brilliant. She's the one that invented the term fanny flutters. And she just came into the villa with that man gave me fanny flutters. Like, <laughs> out of nowhere. And everyone's like, whoa, <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> so is, is there any bits of it that are scripted? No. I thought the challenges are scripted, like what they have to say or something. I thought I heard a, a, an ex, was it Jack Fowler? It might have been, is, is, it is Jack Fat. That, that he had to redo bits or something or not. Well, again, I, I'm not there. I don't think that, no. I mean, maybe, I can't imagine why he would, like, challenges. Yeah, I thought Jack Fowler was on Cal Freezy's podcast and he was saying that they had to redo bits. I might have got it wrong, to be honest. But maybe he did. <laughs> but I don't get it. I'm not, worst there. Person I'm to not that. I know. <laughs> Honestly, but I'm not, but you've got to remember, I'm not there. Yeah. I'm not at the dates in the villa and that. I don't know. You do go over to it, don't you? Yeah, they put me in a porter cabin. Do they? Yeah. With this hand? is the hand on my heart, the nicest place I've ever recorded audio. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's too warm. But other than that... <laughs> so where do they film it? Are we allowed to know? Yeah, Mallorca. Oh, okay. And then we're in a cement mixing factory. <laughs> I thought that was a joke when you said that. No, earlier. it's the genuinely true. And it's too hot in the summer months in Spain. The cement sets too quick so you can't mix it so we get the cement mixing factory for the couple of months that love island's on the illusion is really just sort of foiled here isn't it the, that's not where the villa is the villa's in like a proper like luxury villa owned by like some millionaire oh person. right person are they allowed phones at all i don't i don't think so they have phones though. they have their phones but they're not connected to the internet or anything but they can just text each other i think so yeah Oh, are they allowed to text each I other? I don't know. They did in their... Ep- no, I do know, because they they text each other before in the show. Okay. But All I right. can't imagine. They're not, like, getting, like, 3G and, like, nipping on Twitter. Yeah. That'd be a good episode if they're just allowed to use Twitter for... To, no, because then they're allowed to that know would, the public Yeah, that would, be, that would be horrific if that happened. Yeah, it probably would. What well, What's... um? Is Margot Robbie a fan? I heard. Yes, massive fan. <laughs> Margot Robbie's a massive fan. How did you find that out? I think some people just know it. It's one of those things. She's. I think Margot Robbie just must be one of those people that she's so famous that people just know stuff. Yeah. I sent a picture of her with a bottle, I think, or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's definitely people that are like really like quite famous. Have said to me, "Oh, do you know that Margot's like really likes it?" Oh, mad. Yeah. Um, Amy Schumer like loves it. Wow. It's, How mad it's, is that? It's massive, isn't it? It's it is massive. so massive. There's loads of Love Islands, aren't there? Like in other countries as well. There's a US one. There's an Australia one. Do you want... do voiceovers for any others? No, but it's quite funny because I will sometimes get really like, and I love, and I'm really flat, and I'll get like really, and I'm I can't remember the exact country, but I'll get like a DM going like, "Hi, I'm a comedian from Lithuania, and I'm doing the voiceover on Love Island, Lithuania." <laughs> Do you have any tips? It's like that's so mad, <laughs> yeah. like, Twilight Zone. <laughs> I'd like four or five weeks where where, where my head was just, I just didn't know what I was going to do. Mm. My, my world had caved in. Did you debate quitting? Uh, to be honest, I. I, I